Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. We are in the 24th episode of the series and today we have Sayak here with us who has been recently placed at Siemens EDA as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. All students from the computer science, IT, ECE and ECM backgrounds were eligible provided they had a CGP of 7.5 or 75% in 10th, 12th and an 8 CGP or an 80% in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Sayak to understand his experience interviewing with this company. And congratulations on your placement. Um, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, first of all, hi Jishnu, thanks for having me here. Uh, yeah, so I am Shayak Mukherjee, I am from West Bengal, Board 1. Uh, I have been completing my uh, undergraduate degree in Computer Science and Engineering core branch. Okay. Uh, this is my final year. I, am, I recently got placed in uh, Siemens EDA, which was previously known as Mentor Graphics. Okay. This is a company which uh, provides hardware and software solutions for electronic design and automation products. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that would be it about me. My hobbies, if you are asking me, it should be chess. I like to play chess and a bit of uh, football also. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's great. Um, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Sure. So the Siemens process was uh, simple. They had some uh, CGPA criteria, okay. uh, and uh, based on that, our resumes were shortlisted. Mm -hmm. After that. We had an online exam. There were about 200 people that were shortlisted for online exam. Okay. And uh, there were two roles, a dev role and a QA role. Hmm. So I applied for the QA role. Uh, I'm going to talk about that. Okay. So in the QA role, uh, they had some medium, I should say medium to maybe a bit harder level uh, SDLC questions. Mostly they were MCQ based. Okay. And uh, after that was done, uh, we had some uh, shortlisting process done and uh, in that I think about uh, 50, uh, 40 people got selected Okay. and uh, that was I'm talking about the total number like uh, dev plus QA hmm. so after that uh, in the QA role I only had a single interview process like uh, but it was a pretty lengthy one almost it went up to 1 hour 20 minutes 1 hour 30 minutes and, okay. Okay. and uh, it comprised of everything first of all uh, in the interview process they asked me to uh, describe myself what uh, according to what I think and not what is written on my resume like mm. anything that is outside my resume mm. that was a bit of a uh, uh, you can say a bit of a bother because you prepare, prepare this question yeah. according to your resume mm. so that's uh, all right mm. after that uh, we had some general questions on computer fundamentals like uh, DBMS hoops. these were the only two which was asked to me DBMS and hoops. okay and uh, after that, since it was a QA role, they asked me why did I apply for the QA role, some kind of generic questions mm, like mm, that. Mm. And also, uh, they asked me few of the projects that I have made. So, I actually had two projects. Uh, one was on AWS and another was on a machine learning project. Mm. So, they, they went into very much detail about it. They asked me each and every module, like how did you do it, why did you implement this, how, uh, how is this helpful. So all, all of these, they, they were asking me, I must say that uh, even if your project is uh, pretty decent, you need to explain it really like, uh, mm. to a, like in a layman's term mm. because uh, they can't get confused. Right. They do get confused. Mm -hmm. So that's it. And uh, afterwards, uh, I had some uh, logical reasoning questions and some puzzles that were given to me. I mm. solved them. Then they asked me to share my screen and uh, asked me to open a software. Uh, any software of my choice uh, I had opened VS Code hmm. and then they told me to uh, do the software testing like if this is uh, suppose it is a new software then how are you going to test it step by step tell me okay it's a completely new software so you have to go into the details of it like how what kind of testing you are gonna do what will it provide like if you will see if any backdoor is open any vulnerabilities open hmm. and, uh, hmm. like this so they will get a general perception of how you perceive things because in a QA role it is very important to uh, find the defects and the min minor problems that are inside a software right. hmm. and uh, yeah that was it about the interview process. Okay and there was no HR round after that it was just this? 
Uh, no, this was the single round. As I said, the HR round was done uh, within it. Like they okay. were uh, asking few questions uh, related to HR okay. with inside. Inside. Okay. 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 That's really great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. Um, sure. Do you have any suggestions that you want to share for people who are not placed yet, or anything that you learnt in general from your experience? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. So, uh, if you are going for placements, uh, this is not, first of all, I would say this is not a sprint, it's mm. a marathon. Mm. So, if you are really looking for the high, uh, like high super dream offers, good packages, then you have to start early. This is especially for the juniors. Mm. Uh, I like, if you are going for DSA, you should have a gr good grabs and DSA mm. because it will come in general, it will help you in every company. Right. Like, uh, most of the companies, uh, will ask you some DSS some, some questions. Uh, some companies may be more interested in your projects, but DSS will be in general. Hmm. Uh, other than that, I would say that you must have uh, some projects. And I am not saying that a lot of multiple projects, but at least I would say one very good project that hmm. you are very thorough in. Right. You need to know everything about that project. And the, it would be best if you make something like unique, like something that's... Uh, like it's and uh, for example if it's an e-commerce website hmm. there will be a lot of people have an e-commerce website so that's not unique so if you are doing a single project then make sure it has some unique features that will attract the interviewer hmm. uh, other than that i would say uh, before placement it is very important to brush up the computer fundamentals all okay. kinds of right. uh, operating system dbms hoops etc and yeah and uh, most of the best thing the thing that I learned the most I would say is to keep up and not get dejected right. because it is from my experience I had I went to the third like the final round of three and uh, three interviews before this one and um, yeah it is very hard to like do the process all over again but hmm. yeah okay. finally you do you get a result okay. so okay. that would be it okay that's great thank you so much for your suggestions and for sharing your experience. <clears throat> sure. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Hi everyone, this is Jishnu. Thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, please do like, share and subscribe and stay tuned because a lot more interview experiences are coming your way.